Hey guys, it's Paul. I want to answer a question I asked in the training group on Facebook. Uh, what videos do you need? And Tom Redding said, I would appreciate a video on setting up portals in Zoho CRM. And then I said, what do you mean? So customers can log in. Yeah, log in and update accounts, right? So the Zoho CRM portal, this is going to be for probably for Zoho 1 users. Um, and then we're going to talk through exactly how to set it up and what it can do, right? Right, so let's just show you that it's either is or isn't on your version. Depends what version you got. If you've got Zoho 1, then you have the enterprise level uh, version. And if we go here to show, see and compare plans, come down to portal. Uh, da -da -da. It's like a line on its own somewhere, isn't it? Um, products, portals, here we go. So it is only available on the enterprise level, and you would have to pay extra for more than one, right? Uh, first portal user type creation is free with 10,000 portal invites. Additional portals could be purchased within the product. So you need at least the enterprise level version of this. Um, uh, so if you haven't got it, don't bother following on. You're not be able to get the portal working unless you, if you upgrade to enterprise. Right, let's just continue on. If you're with me and you're a Zoho 1 user, then you can do this. You're gonna go up to settings at the top. You're gonna go to portals. And you're going to have a default one where it's switched on or off. It'll just say client portal there. So you can set it up for customers, vendors, partners, however you want. But within Zoho 1, you're really just going to have a default one. If you, unless you pay extra, uh, which is your client portal. So once you've got your client, you click into it. You can rename it if you want. But you're going to show who's allowed into your to portal. So here is the modules what you can edit so do you want uh customers to see ex quotes that are out to them do you want to see any sales order that, that's been tagged to them do you want to see purchase orders invoices if they want to see their invoices that are flagged to them uh your product list so you might want to set up a product list so they can jump in and see all the products in your system um any cases any tickets that are assigned to them as well i'm not sure whether you want them to see that so just turn things on and off and then you can individually edit each area. So you want to see the counts. If you want here, this is how it will start, right? When you first come to it, uh, depends how you want to see the view. Uh, it's going to say um, permissions. They can view their contact. If you want them to edit it, you have to tick edit. I don't know why it lets you create as well. It makes no sense to me to be allowed to edit to create a new contact. But you cannot just leave it as edit. Uh, well you can leave it as create but you can't have edit on its own without create right which seems a bit daft but it's not a massive deal they're going to put a contact in your system it's not um it's not going to break your system is it so this is the place where you're going to turn things on or off you're going to allow them what which version of your layout so in my test version i've got um three different types of layout that people can see so they can toggle between the different layouts if they want or you could just say you're only allowed to see the standard layout, right? It's up to you how you do it. You can just filter down your areas. Then, how many ever, how many tab modules you've put, you've tagged in the previous version, previous screen? You can then go through and turn certain things on or off, um, uh, and give it, or you can, you know, you can assign it to a read only, so they can't change something. So. If you go through and say they're allowed to change the name or they're not, you just tick. If they can't change it, just tick read only. Go through uh, the other settings for your invoices and things like that. Save and next. And that's going to show you exactly what is allowed, right? If you go up here now, you go portal preview. This is the information that's going to be shown, right? So these were those different views. If you wanted to limit that you could limit it so if i could if i now went here look if i went here and said i don't want i want to edit this and i only want them to have the standard view i'll turn this off i'll turn this off next save and next save and next oh finish now when i go to portal view it's gonna it's not got that little standard view changer there right i can see the account information and I can see deals and, you know, anything I've allowed, basically. I've been through and I've allowed them or I've not allowed them. I've allowed them to edit or I've not allowed them to. 
and that's how you set it up to be able to see what they can see right so then there's a preview there so remember the preview to check it right so let's invite somebody and see what happens right so go to contacts i'm going to do this thomas one here and up the three dots in this corner here you're now going to see send portal invitation if you've got more than one portal you're going to be able to pick whichever one and you click invite and away goes the invite to that person so i should have an email coming through there it is paul at z1 trial sent you an uh, a invite you're invited to access the portal uh, of the organization z1 trial which is what i am accept if the above uh, link is broken click here your portal is here as well to remember right so accept invitation set a password uh, so let's pick a one we'll remember update the password save it or don't on your browser and it should load up Come on, here comes the information. It's going to say, what would you like it to be, English, United States? What, what settings would you like? And here's your contact information. If you want to change anything, so you, you don't, you want a different email address. You want to put your Twitter in, which mine is Paul Nicholson. Go. You can edit that and it'll save eventually. Come on. You know you want to put your phone number in. Did that save? Did you want to put... I think my browser, my uh, Chrome's gone a little bit funky. Yeah, it saved that. So you want to put your phone number in. Or whatever you want, right? Now you can go through. You can see your account information. Uh, if I don't know, there's an account attached to that. Uh, any deals in the system any invoices and products. Products is quite um, important because you might want to let people see your pricing. I haven't got any products set up. But if you imagine you had a full product list that you wanted to see customers or vendors uh, and they can go through. I'm not quite sure why they can. I must have writing a note attached to it. Uh, so in theory, you could say to your customers, here's your information. And you, know, you could just show them contact and products. You might want to show previous invoices or anything like that so they can get to the stuff. Um, and you can, from that screen, from that setup screen, manage what they can see, manage what they can do, uh, and you'll be flying, right? So it's quite easy to use. So that's the, you know, the quick short term. I didn't dive into it too far, did it? But you're going to go to set. You're going to go to the setup screwdriver up here. Go to portals. If you're a Zoho one user, you're probably only going to use customers. Uh, but it's up to you if you need that to be vendors. Or, um, or partners or anything like that, you can change this. You can change who's allowed in, uh, and then edit, edit away, edit filter. You're going to be able to see that your portal name is probably going to be um, what your what you've set up. Oh no, when you set up, I think it'll ask you for the portal name. I think mine were already set up, and as you can see, customer can log in and you can edit how that looks. Hope that makes sense. Any questions, fire away in the comments. I know it wasn't a great tutorial, but I don't use it a lot. Um, but hopefully it makes sense. If, you, uh, if you've if got CRM questions, come and join uh, CRM training at pnuk.co. Uh, ZOHOCRM. Oh, man, if you spelt it properly. pnuk.co. Zoho CRM. Free training. Uh, where we'll be putting all these, putting all these lessons, getting all these things together. Come and join the forum, uh, where you can get even more questions answered, and of course, what you saw there, the question was asked inside the Facebook training group. All free, all, all, everybody's welcome to join. Ask questions. The more questions you ask, the better the training is. The better uh, we get better answers, and you uh, and a, uh, an easier workflow for your for your company. Thanks for watching. See you soon.